yeah we cleaned this floor the day before um that's for another video but uh this is what i'm getting up here is uh just some residue left over from sheetrock dust or whatnot and here what you see is uh just there's a few holes in the floor from where it was framing it um from temporaries and stuff they set uh, i just uh clean out the holes and i fill them with a quick setting fast patch uh, i mean quick set concrete patch i uh, filled it the day before after we cleaned it and you know, it was really really hard by this next day the sandpaper on the multi-tool works great uh, also they make a specific uh, little pad for those multi-tools it's got diamonds in it which is really good too but anything will do is it don't take much just to knock off the top and smooth these things up a little bit and get them to match the rest of the floor once you cut Microfiber pulls the dust right off of it. See what? It's a quick microfiber. Only microfiber does this. Mm -hmm. Microfiber to the rescue. Make sure the floor is good and clean before you spray your thing. Now, here my phone stopped recording because uh, I was out of storage, but uh, I thought it was a cool shot. Nice view of the floor. It should work, but uh, the floor already had one coat of stain on it from just a little while, about an hour earlier. I previously touched up some of it with one coat. And uh, here I go, you see me in action the best I can, best of my ability, uh, spraying on another coat lightly. This is uh, from my point of view or the, maybe even the sprayer's point of view, the way it looks, but uh, it's just an attempt to let you see what I see kinda. Um, maybe it works for you, maybe it don't. <laughs> but uh, this is what I'm kinda seeing as I'm doing it. And that red thing you see on the end of my wand, that is a little custom job I did uh, out of cardboard and tape, I believe. And I just taped it onto the end of my sprayer, right there at the nozzle. And it actually works really great for keeping stain from splashing up onto the baseboards, and onto the walls. That little bit of angle, it just really helps uh, deflect any, you know, spray coming up off the floor from that nozzle. And another thing is, this floor right here was had a really good finish on it. The concrete guys did this floor; they machined it really good. So this stain, this floor actually took the stain; it was a little less absorbent right away. So I had to actually put light coats on you know, a couple, and that's cold and everything. The the light coats actually made it look achieve just the look I was looking for, and uh, it's really nice. And like I said, this one, this floor would take the stain slow. It absorbed it slow. That's okay. And this, uh, this stain right here is best to uh, keep your sprayer pumped up really tight. You know, uh, you put spray a little bit and pause every so often, maybe every 30 seconds, minute. You know, it just depends on if your sprayer's leaking air or not. Like this one was, brand new out of the box. But uh, keep it pumped up really tight and you get a, you know, pretty consistent spray pattern and you get a lot better job and it's just a lot better all around keep your sprayer pumped up don't don't slack on that and um you know battery powered sprayers work good too i've had good luck out of a roby brand it was a you know battery operated sprayer and uh, it works really great when you have a lot of spraying to do because uh if you've got multiple jobs to do the same day i mean pumping that pump up sprayer manually it would really it kills your elbow <laughs> It did mine one time. I did three one day, three basements one day, and 
Uh, my elbow hurt me for weeks after, so I bought a robe, you, you know, electric, you know, sprayer one time and it worked great. Puddled it on a little bit more, but, uh, you know, these manual ones, I really like the way they, they work. And it seems like you control the spray a little bit better to get a little bit better quality job, but as you see, a beautiful job. Looks great. And, you know, if it looks this good without sealer, once the sealer gets put on it, it'll make this job look top notch. In closing, I'm going to say again, the most important thing is to make sure that your process, whichever you choose, dry, wet, whatever, is to make sure that you have a clean floor and a floor that will accept your stain. And in this Saxby store, we was doing it at night time, it's the same exact process as the floor we've seen previously. Uh, just keep your sprayer pumped up tight, spray quickly. This floor also was had to do really light coats, probably five light coats really fast to get a really good look that I was trying to achieve. And in this photo, the floor is entirely stained. It's just one side has sealer, the other side does not. What a difference. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. Please consider subscribing and join me. Join me and follow and see if I can complete my very first barn dominium. <laughs> Trying to do it for less than $60 a square foot and complete by July 1st. See if we can do it. There'll be a lot more videos posted of concrete and posted of goats and funny stuff fun fun family farm life